In Myanmar, we love fish. Fish are a crucial part of everyday life. They're a great source of protein and healthy fats, and they serve as a unique source of essential nutrients. Our rivers are among the richest in fish in the world, and 60% of the proteins we eat come from those fish. One reason why we can eat so much fish is that we have many naturally flowing rivers, including the last remaining long, free-flowing rivers in the world, the Arawadi and the Tanwin. Free-flowing rivers mean fish can travel, which is essential for them to find a mate, have babies, find food and escape dangers like floods in the wet season. Myanmar has an extraordinarily large amount of different fish, and nearly all of them travel along the rivers, creeks and wetlands. For example, the hikers in the upper and faster flowing waters, they migrate up and down the headwaters and tributaries of the great rivers. The commuters in the large middle and lower parts of the Arawadi constantly move back and forth from the wetlands to the river and the river delta. And lastly, the great wanderers. They travel thousands of kilometers upriver from the Andaman Sea to lay their eggs before migrating all the way back to the ocean. This movement means healthy fish, a healthy river ecosystem, and stability in the health, food, and income of the Myanmar people. But there's a problem. Man-made structures like dams and weirs are stopping fish from traveling. Solutions like fish passages are meant to help, but they only work in limited cases. Losing fish means an unhealthy river, unhealthy people and an unhealthy economy. So, what can be done to ensure that Myanmar's fish can keep travelling? Simple. Keep the rivers free flowing. Award our rivers the heritage status that they deserve. Protecting Myanmar's globally unique rivers is essential if we are to develop sustainably. So become a voice for rivers. Share this video 